It's that time of year again when the local high schools hit the grass and put on their cleats for another season of soccer. The Flagstaff girls soccer team lost to Boulder Creek last night 1-0 and will host the Notre Dame prep girls tonight for a neutral tournament game. This game started at 6 o'clock. And earlier today, the Flagstaff boys soccer team hit the soccer field as well at home against Prescott. Scores from this game are so far undetermined, but we will provide them tomorrow night. And over at Coconino, the Lady Panthers soccer team started their season as well. They have traveled over to Page High School for a non-conference game, which has started at 5 o'clock. We will give you scores and updates from these games tomorrow night. And the Coconino boys soccer team hosted their non-conference game against Mingus High earlier today. The Panthers took a 2-1 loss against the Mortars. And the Flagstaff Lady Eagles hit the basketball court for their first conference game against Mangus High. After losing their first game against Buckeye 56-48, the girls will try and rebound for a win tonight at 7 o'clock. So try and make it to the Flagstaff gym to support your Eagles. And the Flagstaff boys basketball team is in Peoria tonight to face the Panthers for their first game of the season. This game has started at 6 o'clock. And over at Coconino High, the Panthers are in the paint with a busy basketball season ahead of them. The Coco Lady Panthers host the Centennial Coyotes tonight at 7 o'clock. This will be the Coco girls' second game of the season as the Coyotes already have a 2-1 and one record. And the Coco boys basketball team took a loss last night to Kingman Academy 60-47. to The Coco boys have a record of 0-2 and two in the beginning of the long season. Tune in tomorrow night for scores on all of these high school games. And on the college level of sports, the NAU Ice Jacks have made their way back to Flagstaff and are putting on their gear before a long break ahead. The Division II Ice Jacks will be home this weekend, starting on Thursday for their rematch against Weber State at 9 p.m. And then on Friday, they face the ASU Sun Devils at 8.30, followed by San Jose State on Saturday at 8. And the Division III Ice Jacks will be on the road this weekend in Valencia, California. They start their doubleheader against College of the Canyons on Friday at 7.30, followed by Saturday at 7.45. After these weekend games, the Ice Jacks will have a nice winter vacation until January when they hit the ice for their second half of their seasons. And last night in Monday Night Football, the New Orleans Saints were in the Emerald City for a crazy game that is pretty hard to forget. Taking you into the first quarter, Drew Brees has his arm hit as the ball is tipped right into the hands of Michael Bennett. And he's just going to the house from here with a 22-yard pick six for the Seahawks. End of the second quarter as Russell Wilson has plenty of time to kill looking for someone to throw it to, finding Doug Baldwin open in the end zone for a touchdown. 27-7 in the third as Wilson looks for an open guy, letting go of this one as it bounces off of a Seahawks helmet, landing right into the arms of Derek Coleman for the touchdown score. Taking another look at this one, the ball bounces off of Kellen Davis's helmet, and then Coleman gets it for a touchdown. The refs would review this play as they uphold the ruling on the field to call it a touchdown. Don't think the Saints coach was too happy about this loss, but the Seahawks would take a big win, 34-7, as Russell Wilson had his 14th consecutive at home win as a Seahawk.